What's up guys, Eric. So you're probably watching this video because you just bought a TSC or a DIC adapter. Um, and if you're not, and you somehow landed yourself on this video, I'm gonna explain what it is. So if you own dual tubes, specifically DTMVSs or DTMVGs from Atkin Black, unless you've been living under a rock, you've heard of the TSC or the DIC adapter. Now, what we've done is we've created a way for you to retrofit your dual tube Actin Black systems to accept an external battery. And it'll mate just about with any Limo connector that you have. Um, that includes old Anvis packs, newer ones. There's a Myriad, PVS31 battery packs, all kinds of stuff. But essentially, it's gonna come in this box just like this. Uh, nice packaging. We know you're not gonna keep it. It's not gonna hurt our feelings, whatever. All right, so in this box, you're gonna find You're going to find this little guy and your cable. All right, so I'm going to go over some really important things on setting all this up. And you have to pay attention to this or you're most likely going to run into an issue. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is take your DTMVG or your DTMVS and take the battery out of it. So essentially, you're going to remove the battery. Get rid of that. And then we're going to remove the actual battery cap tether. Hold on to that. Don't throw that away. You'll need it later. <clears throat> you take this power cell here. We're going to insert it just like you would the battery. And we're going to begin what we call our test fit. We're going to thread this on just like you would your regular cap. Snug fit. Don't over tighten it, guys. Uh, it's, got a, it's got a rubber O-ring in there, so it's going to be watertight. Okay, so now I see that the dot, my Fisher connector dot, is going to be aimed down and to the left, all right? What you want to do is set yourself up for success here. Because if I were to plug this in this way, my cable is going to be offsetting to the left side. And that might be okay if you choose to route your cord that way. However, we don't typically recommend it because that's the same side as your on-off switch. We could and it could impede you trying to on-off that thing. What I like to do is I like to turn this dot to have my uh, Fisher connector, the right angle, going this way. So in this manner, my dot is going to need to be up here. Sort of like if you're looking at it directly on, we're going for the 2 o'clock position. So the way to do that, get yourself an 11 millimeter wrench or an adjustable wrench. You want to have smooth jaw, not, uh, not a... Uh, not the ones with the grippy teeth, mostly just because we don't want you marring up your system, okay? Now, again, super important. When you adjust this, you wanna go clockwise. Do not go counterclockwise when you're adjusting this piece here because there is a fastener nut inside of there and if you go counterclockwise, you can loosen that up, causing some issues with your system and connectivity. So, on the actual Fisher port connector, you're going to see two flat sides here. Those are intentional That's so that you can adjust this thing when you need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my wrench, get it about right. And I'm going to turn my system while holding the cap clockwise. Just like this. And guys, if you have to force it, you're not doing something right. It should just kind of slide on by, okay? And then I'm around to about what I consider the two o'clock position. So let's test fit it again, just to make sure my Fisher connector dots line up. Ah, there we go. Now that's gonna be offset to the right side and ready to mount up to my helmet or my battery pack rather. So again, take whatever battery pack you have. Obviously you're gonna need a, um, a Limo cable that your battery pack came with. And this should just line right up. Again, there's a dot here that should correlate with the mating dot here. You just plug these two in and you are good to go. You mount this on the back of your helmet, whichever way you want. You can tuck your wires any way you'd like um, underneath a helmet cover, Velcro, whatever you want to do. And then what you have here is the ability to power your system off of an external battery pack, which is going to give you quite a lot a bit more life out of the system and for what it's worth uh, you can use your uh, battery pack as a counterweight itself 
It's not much, but every little bit helps. Anyway, that's how you set up the TSC or the DIC. We hope you guys like the product. If you have any questions, you can always shoot us an email. Uh, but we look forward to uh, seeing all your pictures. Hashtag us, tag us on Instagram. Follow us uh, on Facebook and YouTube. And we'll see you on the range.